Hey you guys, we're actually today going to visit with um, Aaron and Christy Haygood, but at the safari park in style. So that'll be super fun to be able to, you know, just walk around with them. But first, donuts. <laughs> it's like the size of my head. Yum. And it's gonna go down here. Yeah. <laughs> Get ready for a sugar rush, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Yay, we're here. It's Christy and her bump. Did I even did I even talk about pregnancy bumps? I think I barely did the last one, but we're both sporting it. Yeah. Look at these baby bumps. Look at that. Mine's getting a little out of control. <laughs> How many months are you again? I don't remember. <laughs> Whatever. I'm three and I'm just as big as her, so. I know I'm doing July. That's about all I remember, so. Yeah, October, possibly November, <laughs> so. <laughs> It's all right, I like burgers, it's all right. Oh um, man, burgers. Yeah, right? Yeah. Shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Follow Miss Christy. There she goes. Go, Quinn, there's Aiden and Declan. Oh, what do you see, bird? Yeah. Where's Aiden and Declan? There. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, little tiger. Cheetah? Cheetah! Yeah. Yeah. There they are! But when we come to Fully Complete Stop, that means that you can actually stand up and get better photos of the animals. We actually have animals that they can trace the moment. So if you're looking out there on the left, you can see the giraffe out there. It's a lot of females. They don't like to live in big groups of males, though. So he's out here. There's another rhino wandering around out here in the field. So if he does feel the need to be next to other rhinos, he can. But right now, he has to have a little bit of alone time. <laughs> Got Quinn, he's got his tongue out. Do you see him, Mikey? Do you see his tongue? Do you see his tongue? Yeah. Wow. Wow, do you like it? Is that a wow? Is that a wow? Oh, ow, your shoe came off. Uh oh. Come on in, let's take a look. Rodriguez fruit bats are only found on Rodriguez Island. It's a small island outside the island. Let's go. So we're at swim now. Um, it was a long day at the zoo, so now we're just like, ah, I'm just kind of um, taking kind of a slower night. Um, I was going to try to get down to have dinner with um, Kaylee and Josh and, I think it is my brain right now, and Christy and Aaron, but it was just the timing wasn't right and it would, it would take me like an hour to drive down there. So here we are at swim. Take a few guys, take a deep breath and close your mouth. Why don't you just practice going down for one? Go down, up. Hold your breath. Hey, Aiden, go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Over there. No, I'm not leaving you. I'm staying right here, okay? You ready? Feet up on the wall. Can you try and put track? Oh, you're already doing it. <laughs> Show me hand on the wall. Hand on the wall. Show me big boy breath. Eyes down all the way and jump. Good boy. Ready and roll. Head back, head back. Show me starfish. 
So something I love about the technique that they teach here is all about um, safety first and then progressively learning how to swim. And so they teach them how to, um, like if they're, they like kick off a wall, they're supposed to turn to their back immediately and learn how to float. And then, um, and then swim a little more and float again so they're not getting tired and that they can still swim to the side of the pool and learn and then they're taught how to get out. So. Anyway, love that technique, and they're doing really good. I haven't seen them in a while, and it's like, my boys are growing up. They're doing so good. <laughs> he did it. He always does that. As soon as I turn the camera on him, he's always like, like, like shocked and mouth them. One of these days, I'll confuse you, and I'll just. Yeah, just give it your best shot. Do your best to forget the rest. Ready? Eyes down. Did you do it? Was it easy? It wasn't easy, it was easy, huh?